Hello chaps, it is Quantic there, and today I will tell you how my open source JavaScript project got 800 stars on GitHub within two days of publishing it. My project is called Quan, and I created it to preserve my general knowledge in Quora and Angular framework, as well as Node.js and Mongo database, by making a ready-to-use project template. Upon submitting it to a couple of JavaScript newsletters for review, it exploded and got 800 stars in its first two days of existence. So how did this happen? Did I get lucky, or did I build something special that people wanted or needed, or did I simply game the GitHub? Well, watch on. Quan project. First things first. My project Quan is a full stack web framework template, which you can use as a starting point for your JavaScript web apps. On the backend, it uses Quan framework plus Node.js and Mongo database. On the front end, it uses Angular and WebSockets for real-time interactions between logged-in users. A web app boilerplate with built-in WebSocket support is what got the attention of JavaScript newsletters in the first place. Also, few open source projects offer a complete working sample of their projects. So creating a Facebook clone with Quan was a great demonstration of its capabilities. Before moving on to the actual project demonstration, let me remind you that I publish a lot of additional content on QuanticDay.com in addition to the videos. If you want to check it out, or maybe even buy some Quantic Developers Club merch, head over to QuanticDay.com. Quan demonstration. Let me demonstrate the project to you, and then we can investigate why it was successful. Let's start with Quan's GitHub project page. It's an open source project with the MIT license. It's a seven year old project, and I didn't update it in the last five years, so it has been losing stars since then almost back to day 2. If you check out readme file, you can see that it's very clean and well structured. It starts by introducing the technology stack, continues with the live example and getting started instructions. Getting started is easy. You clone the repo and do npm install and npm start and you have a basic working Facebook clone on your computer. You can see that I even have a deploy to Heroku button for one click sample deployments of the project for people who want a quick start. Finally, the readme provides the rest of the configuration, testing and licensing information. If you check out the source code, you can see that it's equally well documented. As a wise man once said, code commands should tell you why, and the code itself should tell you how. Now let's go ahead and check out the live example. You can see that I created a Facebook clone as an example usage of Quan template. Yet again, the very first page of the demo website starts by introducing the project. Quan, Quan, Angular, Node full stack JavaScript web development boilerplate. It also introduces the technology stack. Qua framework provides the RESTful backend API utilizing async functions. Angular is our fully static client-side app framework, and it is heroic. Node.js is our superglue, runtime for the backend and build system for the front. Finally, Mongo database is our NoSQL database of choice in the stack and sample app. Let's log in and see how it goes. Default credentials are pre-filled, so I'll just use them. Logins with other social accounts is a feature that I implemented as a bonus. After login, you can see that it's a clone of Facebook in its early days. You can type comments or create new posts. You can also check your profile page, notifications and messages. Remember when I said the project was using WebSockets? The green dot near your name indicates that you are connected to the Node.js backend using a WebSocket connection. Let me open another window and log in as another user. When I submit a command on one tab, it appears on the other in real time, thanks to the persistent WebSocket connection to the backend. I won't go into the details, but this very basic feature alone made this project very valuable to many starters who are looking to implement a real-time web app using WebSockets. By the way, if you are interested, I have an entire video demonstrating my open source project workflow using Git, GitHub, and Docker. You can find the link to it in the video description below. How to get stars on GitHub then? Now you have seen a successful project with successful execution, which resulted in a ton of recognition and stars and forks on GitHub. So how did this all get together? Let me summarize it. Create something useful. There is a very fine line between working on something genuine and useful versus an unrealistic and unattainable goal. Use your best intuition to create something that will help people, do your market research, look for things that you need in your daily life. Don't just depend on wishful thinking. Build your project on top of the best frameworks and tools. I built Quan using Quan Framework, Angular, Node.js, and Mongo database. The reason why I built Quan on top of these tools was that they were the best tools for the business at the time. On top of that, they were trending tools with strong user base growth, so I was sure of their future success. And I was right. The success of the tools that I used also contributed to the success of Quan. 
present your project as best as possible. As you have just seen, Guan has a great live demonstration. The live example being a Facebook clone helps you compare it to Facebook directly and demonstrates what you can do with it. The project also is very clean and concise documentation, along with fully commented source code. Introduce your project with a well-organized readme file at your project's home. A good readme on GitHub is generally in the following format. Introduce the project. Introduce the technology. Link to the live examples and screenshots. Quick start guide. Configuration and parameter section. Testing section. Credits and licensing. Pour your previous experiences into the project. The reason as to why Quan is so clean, both in presentation and code, is that I have created many web apps using similar tools. I finally decided to assemble a single master template project for my future work with all the experiences that I had up to that moment. Hence, I created Quan. Eat your own dog food. I've used Quan in many projects, including my current startup. Every time I used Quan for a new project, I've improved a part of it and backported patches from the new project back into Quan. Keep improving your project, especially if you want to reuse it in your future work. Be attentive to bug reports and feature requests. I've resolved most issues reported on GitHub in less than a day. I've also reviewed most pull requests pretty much instantly, created a backlog of features that can be implemented in the future, and closed the unrealistic feature requests. A clean backlog clearly demonstrates to onlookers that the project is well-maintained and is dependable. Being the best option on the market hubs, this one is subjective, but when I created Quan, there was no other high quality and complete project template like it. None of the alternatives came to a full-on demonstration and instant deployment options like Quan did. Nor did any other project's documentation compare to the clean and concise documentation of Quan. Being the first to market hubs, Quan was one of the first web project templates to come with built-in web circuit support. This is also what got the attention of JavaScript newsletters in the first place. Finally, submit your creation for reviews. Contact newsletters, ping people on Twitter, and submit to relevant subreddits. However, don't be pushy. Let people decide for themselves. You might eventually try and turn your project into a commercial success. Open source or not, you always have great options for financing, from government institutions to crowdfunding. If you want to learn about all kinds of financing options to help you bring your dream to life, Check out my dedicated video on how to find funding for your projects. I'll put the link to it in the video description. Conclusion Don't forget that the primary objective of open sourcing software is to be useful to the open source community. The recognition that comes with it is just a bonus. When the community starts using your software, they will begin to contribute back, which will benefit you in return and everybody else. Take being useful as your goal and you will get recognition eventually, just like this video. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up or maybe even share it with someone who you think might find it useful. I will showcase more of my successful software projects in the future. If you want to see them, don't forget to sub. If you have a project that you want me to check out, let me know in the comment section below. I will review them and maybe even feature them in an upcoming video. And that is it for now. I will see you on the next one.